Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam, and today is the first Friday of December, which means a brand new series on the channel. And I figured since I really love baking during this time of year, that I would bring back baked timber. So for the first episode, I'm gonna be making a banana cake with a delicious Nutella frosting. So if you guys like baking just like me, please subscribe and keep watching. All right, welcome back. So in front of me, I have all the ingredients that I need to make the banana cake. I've also got my oven preheating at 350. So in this bowl first, I have butter and sugar that I'm just going to cream up. Now you can use a hand mixer, but I figured with the few ingredients we have, I'll just use my hands. All right, that looks good. It's nice and pale yellow. So now I can add the eggs and mix it real well, everything will come together. All right, that looks great. Now, in this bowl, I have some Greek yogurt, vanilla extract, and then I took three medium bananas that were very, very ripe, and I mashed them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all that to my egg butter and sugar mixture, and then just whisk it all up again. All right, that looks good. So now I'm gonna add my dry ingredients. In here, I have two cups of flour, some salt and baking soda, and that's it. I've mixed it all up already, and then I'm just slowly going to add it to my wet ingredients. All right, that looks perfect. You just wanna make sure the flour is well incorporated and you don't see any dry chunks. So that looks good. Now I've got my baking dish that I've sprayed with some nonstick spray. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my mixture into that. All right, then you're just gonna wanna even it out like this with your spatula. And then what I have over here is some Nutella that I've melted by just popping it in the uh, microwave for about 30 seconds. Just makes it a little bit easier to deal with. And I'm just gonna put little chunks like this in random places, and then I'll show you what I would do with it next. All right, so I've got little kind of clumps. What I'm gonna do is take my butter knife and create swirls like this, so that you've got Nutella swirls kind of going all through the cake. All right, that looks perfect. Now pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Just make sure when the 20 minutes is up that if you insert a toothpick in the middle that it comes out clean. Then you know it's done. And then I'll show you guys how to make that delicious frosting next. All right, so while the cake is baking, I am gonna make the Nutella frosting. So in front of me, I have some butter and Nutella that I'm going to whip up. All right, it's nice and smooth. So now I'm slowly going to add some powdered sugar. All right, so this looks good. Next, I'm just gonna add a tablespoon at a time of milk until it resembles more of a frosting. As you can see, it's a little bit clumpy right now, but as you add more milk, it starts to kind of get looser and fluffier. All right, that looks perfect. So now, once our cake has cooled completely, we're gonna frost it, and I'll show you guys how to finish it off. All right, so the frosting is all ready to go, and my cake, this is what it looks like. It's nice and cooled all the way, which means I can now top it off with the frosting. And you guys, you already know the drill with baked timber. None of these recipes are healthy, but it's your time to kind of splurge and enjoy yourself. So it's the holidays after all, right? Okay, so now you just spread it nice and evenly. And the frosting will harden 
as you kind of let this set. All right, that looks perfect. So now, since it is the holidays, I decided to add some sprinkles to it, but this is totally optional. Or you can just kind of fit it to whatever theme you're making this for. But since it's the holidays, I thought I'd go with red, white, and green. That looks good. And now I got myself a plate and a knife. Just gonna go ahead and cut myself a piece. It's not quite settled, but that's okay. It's just for myself. I wanna show you guys kind of what the inside looks like. Oh. All right, time for taste tested. And then if you look close enough, you can kind of see the Nutella that we did in the kind of beginning drizzled or swirled inside. But there you go. I already know this is delicious. I've made it before, but so good. It's like a banana bread, like, but enhanced because you got the Nutella running through it. You got the Nutella frosting on top. It's delicious. It's soft. It's moist. It's spongy. Mm, and my bananas were super ripe, which makes it extra sweet. So you guys, this is delicious. If you guys love Nutella and banana and the combination of the two, you'll absolutely love this. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life mm, tastefully balanced. Mm-hmm.